All right, time for your lunch break. Produce man Michael Marks is here with the deals of the week. It is first of the season, the golden seed of the sun, the beautiful apricot. Oh, these are one of my favorite fruits on the face of the planet. You know, it was Andy Warhol who said, everybody has 15 minutes of fame. Well, I say that about the apricot because there's kind of like 15 minutes when that apricot is perfectly ripe. It goes from unripe to perfectly ripe to overripe. So you got to be very, very careful with your apricots. Come on down here and take a look. Apricots, uh, what you want to try to look for is full color. You see that there's a little bit more green on here? I wanted to show you this. This is not an apricot I would buy. Uh, you want one with full color all the way around. And then, just like any other stone fruit, you're going to let it it ripen. So please just be patient with them. Uh, with a small amount like this, maybe just in a, in a brown paper bag, out of direct sunlight, please never in a million years leave these out at uh, just in the open air. There's no natural oils on this apricot to keep it from just simply dehydrating and shriveling. So you need to enclose them. A shoebox is great, a little brown paper bag, but uh, you've got to check it every day. In fact, you got to check it twice a day because once 15 minutes gets there, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Uh, anyway, $2.99 a pound for apricots. That's a great start to the season. 49 cents for the peach of the tropics. Yeah, we call it a mango. 49 cents is peak of the season for mangoes. By the way, when you're picking out the mango, you want to look at that stem right up there. See that stem up there? It's down in a little valley. When it's in a little valley, that is a mature mango. If that was up on a hill, that is an immature mango and would never ever ripen. So the, the peach of the tropics, 49 cents each. That is an awesome price. And check this price out. Oh my goodness. A dollar seventy seven to two fifty for personal watermelons. These beautiful little personal wa now I've taught I've taught you how to pick out a watermelon, but there's one thing more you need to do with the personal watermelon. You need to hold it in your hand like it's a basketball, like you're gonna getting ready to pass the basketball. And then you need to squeeze it as hard as you can. Now, don't Arnold Schwarzenegger it, you know, because you'd probably crush it, right? But give it a, a very solid squeeze. It needs to feel like granite in your hands. If it's very, very solid, feels like granite, that's going to be a good, uh, a good watermelon. In fact, let's go ahead and cut this one in half. Are you ready for summer? Oh, take a look at that. Oh, I can't wait to have mine. Anyway, $1.77 to, uh, to two fifty dollars each. Uh, back to you guys while I enjoy my watermelon. Back to you. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs>